Hi, I'm Ben from BIM Object, and today I'll be showing the Meta Wall, Meta Wall Aluminium Facade Cutting Elements and the Meta Wall Radiant Ceiling Objects for ArchiCAD. So, what I'd like to do is first of all show the facade elements. So, as you can see here, we have a simple table and a multiple table. Uh, under the dimensions here in the user interface, we have the different thicknesses of the aluminium cladding. So as you can see here at the moment, we have a complete wall system. We're showing the insulation, we're showing air spaces, and finally the aluminium cladding, which can be turned on and off, of course. So as you can see here, we have an informational text regarding the 10 millimeter facade cladding and the 15 millimeter facade cladding. And you can see the different edge treatments here and the different fire ratings, uh, depending on the thickness. We can change the thicknesses of the air spaces. And as default, we have it 20 millimeters. We can change the thickness of the insulation and of course the overall thickness of the wall as well. And again, we have the different uh, rectangular or polygonal shapes. Uh, I'll show just in a moment um, how we use the polygonal shapes. We have the different materials, which are of course available through MetaWell and we have a custom setting as well. We have all of the information regarding the 2D information, regarding the 2D floor plan section and 3D information as well. We have the different pen settings. We have scale sensi sensitivity. Um, we can either have it showing as 1 to 100 all of the time, 1 to 25, which shows quite a lot of details, which I'll show in just a moment, or again, scale sensitive. And then in the 3D window, we can have a simple or a detailed model. We can have it casting shadows and we can have the insulation colors and the airspace colors, of course. And then finally, we can show informational text regarding the individual elements as well. So if we go ahead and have a look at this element in the 3D window, so this is the single simple element at the moment. And as you can see here, we have different hotspots. So with this particular hotspot, we can change the size of the element. And with the hotspots in between here, the middle hotspots, we can actually change the geometry. So if we have some tricky uh, facade elements or some facades that we need to, um, to adjust the, um, the facade cladding around, we can quite easily do that uh, by simply adjusting the points in between. And we can get a, a higher resolution or rounder curves by simply clicking in between and we automatically add more points. And again, we have the nice rounded elements for the actual facade, cladding elements for the aluminium elements. And we have the airspace and of course the insulation which can be turned off as well. And again, the different thicknesses for the different panels. And these settings you will also find under the multiple table as well. The 15 millimeter. And of course we have the matrix system here where we enter the uh, total amount of um, facade elements in the X and the Y. And again, we have the different color settings here and the different 2D settings. So what I'd just like to quickly show here, I've gone ahead and placed out a um, multiple element. We've done something here which is for the actual edges. For, the, for example, if this is for a corner, um, what we'd like to do, of course, we would like to have the edges joining up correctly. So we'll just go ahead and mirror a copy here. So if I go ahead and just quickly mirror that. And quickly have a look at that in the 3D window. So as you see here, we're getting some nice joins here through this corner. And of course we can change the, uh, the individual objects as well. So we can change the heights. Uh, we can change the overall lengths, etc. Uh, one last thing I'd like to show, and that's the scale sensi sensitivity. So as I showed earlier, we have a setting either in the actual object uh, or in the, in the floor plan as well. So if we change this to 
1 to 25. So now we see a whole lot of more detail here. We see the aluminium cladding here on top of the, uh, the airspace and then finally the insulation. Again, the insulation can be turned off. So all we see is the actual facade cladding element. So that was the, uh, the metal, wall, metal wall facade cladding elements. These objects are available in both English and German, as you can see here. So the objects are available on the portal, on the bimobject.com portal in German, in the German language as well. So what I'll do now is uh, quickly hop over to the radiant ceiling objects. So now I'd like to show the metal well radiant ceiling objects. These objects are actually suspended ceiling objects. So as you can see here, we have four different types. We have a grid ceiling, we have an island ceiling, a jointless ceiling, and a modular ceiling. And again, as you can see here, as with the facade cladding elements, the objects are available in native German as well for ArchiCAD. So what I'd like to do here, in uh, and just go ahead and show the, the grid ceiling to, to start off with, the majority of the settings that, that I'll, I'll show now are the same for with all three, but uh, there are some differences, um, which I can show quite uh, very quickly. So we see here that we have the panel types, we have the different edge treatments for this particular grid ceiling, the EPK, EPO, BK, and the KR90. We have different panel thicknesses as well, we have the 6 and the 10 millimeter panel thickness. So as you can see here now when I change the edge treatment here, we have some other um, settings that are available to us. We have the different grid settings. As you can see here, we have a 600 by 600 panel at the moment. We can go ahead and have, uh, for example, 10, 10 by 10. And what that will do is that will give us a grid of 10 by 10. So as you can see here. And then we have some uh, some hotspots here, of course. Uh, this particular hotspot changes the gap in between the, uh, in the, in between the panels, in the X and in the Y. So if we just quickly have a look at that in 3D. So as you see here, we have the actual suspension framing showing as well. We can, uh, we can change those settings as well. As you can see here, we have different brackets, section cross rails and crossbars. Or we have something here called the, the L profile on the sides. So if I go ahead and show that, so you'll see here that around the sides that we'll have an L profile going around the whole grid. So that was the grid ceiling quickly. What I'd like to do now is go ahead and show the next one, which is the ceiling islands. Again, the settings are quite similar. Uh, in this case, we have some different edge treatments. We have the KR60 and the KR120. As you can see here, it's very illustrative. So you can see the different edge treatments, of course. And again, the different panel thicknesses and the grid settings, suspension brackets, cross rails, cross bars, etc. We can even change the settings of the, uh, the piping, of the tubing in 3D as well. As you can see here, we can see the tubing in 3D. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at that. So we have some very detailed information here. These tubing elements can of course be turned off in the 3D as well. Uh, we can simply choose to, to turn them off. We can even show the suspension settings or the suspension grid in the 2D window as well. So as you see now, we've turned the, the piping off and we've turned the, the grid, sorry, the suspension settings on or the suspension system in the 2D window. So what I'd like to do now is just quickly go ahead and draw these out. And as you can see here, we have a hotspot here, which actually gives us a gap between the panels. This can also be done in the actual user interface as well, of course. So if we go ahead and change that to say 600 and change the width of the panels from 600 to maybe 800 and have a quick look at that. And of course we can multiply these out. Um, if we go back and have a quick look at the settings here, we can have, and as because these are ceiling islands, we can only have horizontal panels. There are no vertical panels, of course. 
uh, we can have a infinite amount so if we go ahead and put five here and we can continue adding those out and of course gaps as well we can change the gap sizes as well so that was the ceiling islands the next one I'd like to show is the jointless ceiling again different edge treatments We have uh, horizontal and vertical panels in this particular object. We have the piping settings again, number of holes, of course, which is available in all of the um, in all of the objects, and we have, of course, the two D representations as well and material informations. So if we go ahead and do a grid six by eight and have a look at that. And in this case, you'll see that there is no visible frame on the underneath side as there was with the modular ceiling. So this is the jointless ceiling. Of course, there are no frames visible. And finally, the modular ceiling. Again, we have uh, different edge treatments. In this case, we have the EPO which is another edge type. And we have the same settings, the six and the 10 millimeter panels, which is uh, the same throughout the objects. And we can have the grid settings here. Again, we can have the different um, suspension rails, or we can have the crossbars. And again, the, uh, the 2D and 3D representation uh, settings. So if I just go ahead and quickly do a grid, say, of um, 5 by 8. And if we have a look at that in the 3D window. So we see here that we have a different suspension system now. Can just quickly have a look at the underneath of that. And again, if I go ahead and change the suspension system to something different. In this case, in this case, we can change it to the suspension brackets. So we see we have another suspension system. So these objects are very flexible in the, the way that we, uh, that we can use them in ArchiCAD. Sizes are interchangeable, you can see here again, the gaps between the panels are changeable and the panel sizes as well are changeable. So that's what I'd like to show today. Thank you for your time. So that's the metal well, metal wall facade cladding elements and the metal well radiant ceiling objects from the German manufacturer metal well. You can find more information on their website through the objects um, by simply clicking on the MetaWorld website button. And of course, all of the objects can be downloaded from the bimobject.com object portal. Thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.